It officially feels official. Summer is over. The coffees are hot again. Cozy season has arrived, like truly, truly arrived. And with a bang, it's fucking cold. I'm the type of person that will wait as long as possible to turn my heat on. And I like things cold, but sorry. I gotta put on my fuzzy socks. Happy Monday, everybody. I am back working in the office. This is something I wanted to do. You guys know me and my Monday thing. On Mondays, I like to like get myself back into true routine and do things that I want to do. It's officially been a week since I got back from Europe and I figured, you know what, like I would work on the couch, but I wanted to come back and work up here this week. I leave on Thursday, so I only have a few days, but I figured I would make those few days count. Lots of work I need to do in the office. I'm really unhappy with the kind of clusterfuck it's becoming. Before I leave for LA, I really want to make sure that the office gets organized and cute again because there's just kind of like shit. I don't like what's happening on the desk. I gotta like organize it and make it something that I'm happy with. I have a rug to bring up here. I'm actually gonna use the one that's currently in my living room up here. There's been a whole situation with the rugs, but I think I have figured out a solution and that's gonna be it. So we're up here. It's almost 8 a.m. I have planner. I'm gonna like plan it out. I have my blue light glasses. We're getting it together today. I'm gonna grind out the morning here and then this afternoon I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and work with Rachel, but I kind of want to bust my ass here before then. So that is what we shall do. And yes, I promise I will get around to replacing these pictures with pictures I took on my trip. my truffle eggs in so long and this just smells so freaking good i realized last night that i have quite a bit of food in the fridge and i have like three days left here so i have to figure out a way to eat all of it i have a big thing of tomatoes i think i'm just gonna like throw it in the oven roast them a bit and then i don't know i don't know i got a lot to go through i'm gonna have to figure out a way but i think whatever is not eaten like whatever i can't get to because there's a lot of carrots a lot of celery i'm just gonna give to my parents they'll eat it mm. i always forget how much i freaking love this this is delicious Mm. Yesterday was like the ideal Sunday. It was so dark and overcast. And I'm not kidding, I sat on the couch for so many hours, pretty much the whole day, but I spent seven of those hours binging the originals. I've just made it to the last season and I'm devastated. The season finale for the last season, I like, I was crying. I didn't realize how emotionally attached I had gotten to everybody, but ooh, it's a good show. I'm really nervous to see how it ends and how I handle it. <laughs> the reason why I'm only just watching the originals for the first time now is that I was so attached to the Vampire Diaries and I was nervous that watching this would like fuck with my, I don't know, my, my love for the Vampire Diaries. And like, I don't know, it's added maybe. Especially like having the guest appearances from the Vampire Diaries cast in the originals, it's very fun. And it kind of just feels like a continuation and a new love. It's a bigger love for the Vampire Diaries world. I am a fan. Okay, I gotta eat this and then I'm go back up to the office for a bit before I head out. Okay, it is 12.45, let me call my Uber. We are heading off to the coffee shop. We're going to this place called Cafe Inside. They have cute looking desserts and I may have to get one. We will see. But I think we're just gonna spend the afternoon there get as much work done as possible. And then my plan is to come home, sit on the couch and watch more of the originals. I really want to like keep binging and finish it before I leave for LA. Cause I don't think I can watch it in the States. With all the different streaming services, it's like all different. I'm not totally sure on that fact, but better safe than sorry. I watch it on Amazon Prime and I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I just wanna, I wanna see what happens next. It's so good. <sighs> okay, have my things. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Here's my little cozy day outfit. The sweater is from Zara. It is so comfy and big and I love it. Jeans are a goldie. Now I gotta figure out my shoe situation. I think I'm gonna throw on these boots with the outfit. I think that'll be cute.
Look how cute these are. Hey. Hi. <laughs> she got a vanilla latte? Yeah, vanilla latte. Hi. And then I got an Earl Grey latte, which looks so cute. Yeah. It was so or no, not Earl Grey. It's, what did I get? London Fog. London Fog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so cute though. Please ignore my runner. And just like that, it's 5.30 and I'm home after a full day of work. Honestly, I don't know if I can even say a big day of work. I feel like Rachel and I were talking like 90% of the time. But today's technically a holiday, so whatever got done was good enough. <sighs> home. Okay, I'm taking 7F. Okay, I'm taking 7E. Tell me when you're ready to click book trip. I'm ready, are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Click. Ah, you're booked. All right, we did it. I don't pay for the extra for Connor. I can't make a seat. Oh, no. Well, ask Connor what he would like to do. For my seat. Yeah. To sit with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much is it? Okay, I feel like I've been talking nonstop for the last, like, all day. I was on the phone with Jill planning our flights to Nashville for Sarah's wedding. So exciting. And then another trip that Jill and I are going to do after that so i'm very excited and then i was on the phone with my parents and now it's 7 30 and i am here and i am hungry and i am tired of talking i'm gonna have another bowl of my soup because i've been having it every day it is so good and we're gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow my mom and i are gonna go do some stuff get some fall decor before i'm gone and then fall is behind us <laughs> i got like two days left here and then i will be back like later food originals bed i'll see you tomorrow so easy for me to work down here because I make my coffee and then I just sit down. But no, I like the office, we're going to the office. I especially like the mornings up here because of the light that comes in. It's like so bright and it's so pretty. <sighs> I don't even think it like comes across on camera the way that it feels in this room in the mornings, but it's so special. Hold on, I need my coffee. I like couldn't get up this morning. Mm. Yum. I woke up at seven and I had a nine hour sleep, but for some reason, like my body, was so comfy in my bed. I think it's because it's really cold in here. And I was like in my little cocoon. I just wanted to lay there forever. But I got myself up at eight. One whole hour of scrolling on TikTok in the morning. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start my morning. So I only have today and tomorrow left here in Toronto. And I think I'll be back like later than I thought I was gonna be. I'm gonna be gone for a minute. <laughs> but I have quite a bit of food in the fridge. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I hate wasting things, like I hate it. So I have today and tomorrow to get through as much of the food in the fridge as possible. Making a little salad for lunch, using the rest of the veggies that I made the other day. But as you can see, I have a lot of tomatoes. Too many tomatoes. So I think I might just roast all of them and then use it as a sauce. I've never actually done that. I have roasted tomatoes before and they're so good. So feels like a solid, safe option. But I still have soup in the fridge. I got carrots, I got green onion. I don't know what I was thinking. But I am gonna chop all of this green onion that I have. A lot of green onion. I'm gonna chop all of it right now so that I have it in a little container ready to throw on everything that I eat until I leave. Feels like the best option. This knife's not cutting it, literally. Okay, beautiful. And then we're gonna top with pesto. My salad was delicious. My fingers are frozen. I feel like I have to turn the heat on. I think I have to do it because I'm so cold. We're gonna get dressed. I'm gonna figure out something to wear. Whenever I try to like wear something different, I always end up wearing the same shit. I was just staring at my closet with not a clue. 
not a clue what to do. But I just so happened to get a box from Revolve. Here are my monthly, my monthly goodies. Now, most of this is not like wearable for today, but we'll go through it anyways. And there is one more package coming from Revolve today that I will be changing into when I get home. Okay, we'll do a really speedy haul. I got a couple new bathing suits because I am going to Palm Springs on the weekend. And all the bathing suits are on sale now because obviously it's not bathing suit season. Look how cute. So I figured it was a good time to get some. It's gonna be like 100 degrees in Palm Springs. Full summer. So nice to have you for a week fall. See you later. Yellow bikini. Here's the top. Okay, this has potential. A little burgundy turtleneck. I could wear this today for sure. Or this white turtleneck. Cropped. It's cute, it's soft. Another turtleneck, but this one has like cutouts at the shoulders. Now you can't really tell, so I'm gonna put pictures in and all the links will be down below to the items. And then lastly, I got a blazer. Freaking love, love, love this green. It's so nice. Nice oversized blazer. I'm gonna bring this to LA with me. Anyways, okay, I think I'm gonna go for the burgundy, the burgundy top. Hello, mother. Hello, my love. Ooh, the Chanel is making It's her dinner. first day out. Wow. I, I successfully got myself dressed for first outing. Need to return some stuff from Zara before it's too late and I only have two days to do it. So today is the day. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to HomeSense and get some last minute fall stuff for my last two days here. We gotta fallify before fall is over. Fallify, you know? Okay, kinda love these. May come back for them. They're so cute. They look like Brady. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Brady pie. Brady pie. Short girl problem. Actually, you know what? On camera, it looks better than it does in person. Really? Yeah. But this is like the ultimate short girl issue is that everything is too big. This is an extra small. And this is not even like the oversized. I know. Coat. It's such a beautiful coat. I know. Like, I wish I could wear that too. Bummer. Here's some loafers. These are pretty chunky though. Okay, so I just, yeah, so I saw these online too, but they're so chunky. Yeah, these are, yeah, I did. We should go look at it actually. Okay. Mm, look at all the good stuff. On a hunt for a coat. <laughs> Mom and I got matching outfits. We just got different colors, but they're so cute. Oh. It, it would. You could order online maybe. Look at the decor in here, it's so pretty. Anyways, we got these little matching sets. I'll put it on later. Oh, let's go to Pottery Barn for the home decor. Okay, here's the console piece that I actually bought for the living room, but I decided to return it because I bought something else. But it's kind of cool to get to see it in person. I'm happy with my decision to return it. Mm. I personally like it better at home. We got some cheese tarts. Uncle Tetsu. Yeah. Okay, we had almost a little mini panic attack <laughs> at, the, at the mall. We got to the parking lot and we couldn't find the car. And so she was like, oh my God, my car was stolen. It, it's gone. We were looking around and I was looking at my vlog clip and I saw the Thank spot the where it should have been and it was not there. That spot was empty and we were like, oh no, she, panic, panic. But then we continued to watch the vlog clip and we were on the wrong level. And then we went to the right level and there the car was. Okay, but in my defense, I always park on one level, on yeah. the same level, but I came in through a different entrance this time. So. Which is why <laughs> the, confusion. the confusion. Anyways, all is well. Car is, <laughs> car is good. We are here. And we left with pretty much just the one purchase. My mom got a couple pillows that are back there for their couch. And some of the cheese tarts. Uncle Tetsu. That I will be stealing one of. And now we're going to HomeSense to see what we can get. And then we're going home and tomorrow's gonna be a rainy day, which is a chill day, my last fall day. And I'm gonna come back and it's gonna be winter. Ugh. And today is like, today's warm. I know. It's like, it's, 20, it's, supposed to be, it's supposed to be 21 today. 70 on my app. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever learn the Canadian temperatures. Why, it's so easy. I don't know, I'm just such a, I'm so used to the Fahrenheit. I don't know how to do it. It's weird because you grew <laughs> up I know, but for some reason, growing up, I always just liked Fahrenheit better, and I know but you most can know of both. I know, I, both. but I can't. Like I, I don't know what I try to learn. Sometimes I'll the switch easy my app. Thing is to multiply the number by two and add thirty. See, That's the easy. Way. I've it's heard probably... that so many times, and it never registers in my brain. So it's okay. I understand that most of the world uses Celsius. Tara likes to be different. It's not even a want. <laughs> I can't help it. This is just how my brain functions. It is what it is. Who cares? It's really not a big deal. It's literally not. As long not as big. you have an idea about 
what the temperature is. I have to step outside. Can, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit, who cares? Who the fuck? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Christmas. And it's Christmas. <laughs> Will there be any icy fall too? It's okay. Although I'm excited for Christmas. Let's have some fun. Look how cute it is. You know what? We'll, oh no, it's got glitter on it. I don't like glitter. It smells so good. Oh, look at this little, little ghosty candle. It's not so little actually. Oh yeah. Look at these massive candles. Inspired on the California coast. Should I get it? Probably don't need it. Cute. Okay, got a lot of things in here. Not a whole lot of fall. That is cute. Honestly, for the best. For the best. I'm leaving in a day and a half. Exactly. And I also don't have any fall here. So, oh, maybe they have a throw though. Cannot believe it's it's Christmas already. How did we get here? It's a little premature, but. I would say. Look at this tiny cheese board. I have to have it. It's so cute. Okay, we're putting everything in the car. Now we're going into PetSmart to find a little costume for Brady. I saw a TikTok of these dogs wearing like teddy bear costumes. Brady needs, oh my God, a bumblebee? Imagine Brady. I wonder if this would be too small for her though. It would be so cute. Oh my God. She's already like Dumbo with her big ears. This is so cute. Brady the tiger, imagine. Oh my God. Hello! Colors, eh? So cool. Look how spiky. We're home. Let's do a haul. My place is gonna be a disaster once I do this because there's some packages to open up as well. But we're committing. It is what it is. Starting strong. I have a lot of stuff from Babaton, but my mom and I got these cashmere sets and they just look fantastic. Okay, so here's the top. I picture myself wearing this with jeans, with other pants. Like you can wear this in a million different ways, not necessarily as the set, but it is soft as shit. And then I got the pants, like so cozy. I would put this on immediately, but I also know there's another sweatsuit that I'm deciding on for the rest of my evening. So that's what I got at the mall, but I also got another Revolve package. They really hooked me up this month. So here's the front, the back. It's just like a big oversized cozy sweatsuit and we all know how I feel about those. Here are the sweatpants. I feel like I wanna be like lazy cozy versus cute cozy for this evening. And then I got this sweater from Annie Bing. It looks like this. I think it's really cute. You know, we gotta rep LA sometimes. I love like the vintage kind of feel of this. I'm actually gonna change and then I'll show you the home sense stuff. I think this is officially like the biggest, most oversized sweatsuit that I own. It's really comfy, but it is, it is big. Okay, so I ended up buying only one fall thing, which I think is here. The one and only fall thing that I bought. There wasn't a whole lot of fall stuff left. It was mostly Christmas. Crazy. I did buy, I did buy something for Christmas. It's not like super Christmassy, but it's gonna look really good. I bought this little wooden bowl. I for sure have many similar items, but I really liked this one, so I bought it. And then, what is this? I mean, it's perfect. Like a little solo cheese board moment. Plus it's gonna look, it's gonna look cute over here. I got quite a few vases. Vases can be so expensive. So I was really, really happy to find this many at home sets. Here's vase number one. I think these are my Christmas things. I got these little houses and they light up. Can you see it? Like at night, it's gonna look so cute. I got two of these. I got like this one and I got the little one. Yay! Like this is, Precious. My plan is to put these on the console table that I do not yet have, but I think this will look so cute. I'm gonna put like a garland. I have a vision. I am excited. Once I have that console, I'm gonna have more things to decorate and that brings me so much joy. Okay, so I got those and I think the rest are bases. Here's another one. It's like super textured. I like it a lot. And then we have this one. I was telling my mom, you know, I can justify all of this because I have all of these different rooms that need things. My bedroom, my office, living room, kitchen, like, Lots of places to decorate, therefore I need lots of things. I don't really need, but that's my justification. Last but not least, here it is. Okay, one more thing to unbox. It's not this, this is just like another foam mattress pad. I'm, I'm playing around with my bed setup. Anyways, I got a box from Abercrombie that I'm very excited about. They always hook me up over there and I'm so grateful because I love their stuff. Okay, for starters, I got these pants. These I'm for sure gonna bring to LA. These are the same pants that I have in black that I brought on my trip. They are awesome. These are like a nice chocolate brown. So cute for fall. I think they're really flattering. Oh, I'm so excited to have these. I was really hoping these were gonna get here before I left. Little bodysuit with these cutouts. 
I love this. This is so soft. Also, I tried on the little cashmere set. I think I'm gonna return the pants because they are straight ass see-through. And that's not, that's not the vibe. But the top was great. The top I'm definitely gonna keep. This is so soft. Again, I will have everything linked down below. This is great. Another good one. I swear, Abercrombie's like killing it right now. Just a little black turtleneck. Got a little fresh one for the season. While I will be in LA, I will come back and it's gonna be winter time. So these things are gonna be great. Oh, this is fun. I got this sweater. And last but not least, one of my personal faves, a new jacket. I love her. The Sherpa. Puppy season is on its way. Thank you, Abercrombie. Thank you, Revolve. All the good stuff. I'm very, I'm very blessed. And my mother did bless me with one of the cheese tarts that I'm gonna put in the fridge. I'm also going to make something sweet. I could eat that right now, but I'm gonna save it for later, for like a little after dinner dessert. Instant boba kit. Okay, this is the instant boba kit brown sugar tapioca pearl drink mix. I actually did try this. I wasn't vlogging that day and I think I gave it like a seven out of 10, but I'm gonna try making it a different way. So you can do it over the stove or in the microwave. And I did the stove cause I thought that'd be better. But now I wanna try the microwave cause I feel like maybe that'll be better. It was just like the balls didn't have the chewiness that I was hoping for. It was like a little, I don't know how to describe it. She's going in for 45 seconds. I will say it smells incredible, like so brown sugary, which you guys know is right up my alley. I have higher hopes for this. You just add your milk and ice and then it's done. And it comes with little boba straws. Cheers. Mmm. Much better. Mmm. Good job, Trader Joe's. Yeah, microwaving is the way. The balls are the chewiness that I look for. The balls are right. Mmm. It's exactly what I was looking for. I am, in fact, going to leave the kitchen a complete disaster because I gotta get back to work. So <laughs> the kitchen's gonna have to look like this. Tomorrow's gonna be like a rainy day. It's my last day here. And I think I'm just gonna clean, prep, pack. What the fuck happened with the sun? That's my cue to go upstairs. Around six, I decided to come and finish work on the couch. It's now 7.57. Calling it for the day. I think I'm gonna have a bowl of my soup. Also, note the light back there. It's currently on the floor, but it will be on the console when that arrives. But I love the extra light in that corner. It really brightens that part of the space, obviously. But it really adds such a cozy element. Lighting can make a huge, huge difference. Just like little touches can change the whole space. And I'm really loving that light back there. And the lamp is so beautiful. I'm so excited to have a console to decorate over there. I think it's gonna look so good. I ended up getting more of like an investment piece. I will of course show it to you guys when it arrives, but it's gonna get here while I'm away. So when I get back, we'll do like a full finishing the living room kind of vlog. I'm really, really looking forward to it. But let's go make a bowl of soup. I love having my soup in this little thing. It makes it so fun and special. I had so much soup, I could have purely lived off of it for the whole week I was here. Truly, truly love this. It's so good. It's lasted so well in the fridge. It tastes the same as the first day I made it, if not better. Packed with veggies. The quinoa is so good. I love this. I'm so happy to eat it again. I've also been adding diced avocado into it just because I have so many avocados. I'm gonna tackle the rest of the food situation tomorrow and the status of this kitchen because it's like... An explosion went off in here. Stuff everywhere. And tomorrow's my last day here before I'm gone for like a month. But tomorrow's the only day I can tackle all of this stuff. I'm also really excited because I'm working out tomorrow with Kaya. She was actually away the last week. So now that she's back, we're getting back into our weekly workouts. I'm also excited to do my morning walks when I'm in LA. I'm gonna do like beach walks. I don't know, it's gonna be nice. Lots of fun and good things to look forward to here. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, I can't get over how good this is. Okay, I'm gonna bring this downstairs, watch some originals. I wanna binge like three episodes. As I've said, I wanna finish it before I leave, which means I have tonight and tomorrow. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow and obviously the travel day and we will get situated in LA. Ah, craziness. Anyways, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.